Logan Properties is just having us sign our life away right now, and, and we don't have any choice. You know, if we don't sign the waiver, and we don't get the deposit, and, and they're still not going to help anymore, so you might as well sign it and get your deposit. So you have no choice. Okay, so you feel like a lot of people are being pressured to sign Absolutely. the waiver? Absolutely. I did hear a rumor about um, the families that were issuing the vouchers to not being able to receive the vouchers unless they sign some paperwork with Logan Property Management, which is absolutely untrue. Everybody who was residing at Casa de Vallejo is receiving a voucher from the Vallejo Housing Authority today. I'm here with Michelle Pedro. Michelle, you have a mother who was in the Casa de Vallejo fire? Yes, Rosalie Merkelbeck. And we're basically pretty disappointed with Logan Property. They originally said the first meeting we came to, they were going to help with relocation. They were getting this moving company that was going to take care of their belongings. Um, they signed a waiver that not only released Logan Properties, but has released the moving company from any damage. My mom's stuff, plus other residents, are in this big storage bin. They're not even covered with sheets, blankets. Um, they're scratched up. They're going to be they're ruined. These are senior citizens that are, aren't able, they signed this waiver under distress, and they weren't aware. My mom thought that waiver she signed was only releasing Logan Properties. She had no idea it also released the moving company. So, and she didn't have the option to move the stuff herself. So it's very disappointing. Bob Stalker. And you're with Legal Services, Bob? Yes, I am. Can you uh, give us a little update on what's happening today and what kind of paperwork is being signed as far as these vouchers and so on? As I understand it, the uh, Housing Authority of the City of Vallejo is issuing Section 8 vouchers to the uh, residents who lived at the Casa de Vallejo. And those vouchers should enable them to rent uh, new units, I think anywhere in the country, and have them subsidized through... Uh, HUD so, and through the Housing Authority so that they will still be paying uh, affordable rents. But they, the problem for a lot of these people is they're going to have to find a place that will take the voucher and that meets the minimum standard that the Housing Authority has required. So uh, for some people with disabilities, it's probably going to be a difficult task for them to find a place to live and to get moved in a short period of time. Okay. And our motel bill that they're paying right now uh, is up on the 11th, uh, next Thursday, I believe. And, uh, and after that, I don't know if we're going to be out in the street looking for a place. If the, they're not going to keep paying the motel up there, I know that, you know. And uh, so at this point, I don't know what is going to happen. We're not involved with Logan Property Management at all, and any um, well, when I heard the rumor, I asked um, Bob Stalker from Legal Services to talk to Martha Gutierrez from Logan Properties, and hopefully they can work out. Hopefully it's a vicious lie, but if there is something going on, um, hopefully Bob has straightened it out. We're victims, and I want something done about our victimhood, and I want more compassion and uh, more organization and skill and speed in resolving our dilemmas. It's going on now. It's been a long time. We're all suffering. I have two pets. Uh, they are also without a home. And uh, I'm seeking prayerfully uh, for um, a solution for all of us. But I look around and see faces. And I must say, a lot of the people that were more cheerful and more energetic and healthier prior to the fire uh, are suffering. And they're doing this real bad, man. Nobody's sympathetic to us. Nobody's trying to do anything, it's all empty promises. You know, it's like everything that we ask them, you almost have to sign, you know, to take some of the pressure off of them. It's, it's, uh, it's unreal. Leave only with the clothes on my back. I haven't received any information when any of our things will be returned to us, except that they'll be picked up and stored and we'll get a slip of paper and we can pick them up, but I don't know when. We were out in Vacaville at the Holiday Inn, and then they moved us back here. And I'm still in the same clothes since the fire. I mean, all my clothes, you know, it's like, I could have, <laughs> it's like, take a shower every day, but, you know, but uh, the, uh, but just getting tattered, too. <laughs> that building was nothing but a trap. 